Okay, so at some point in your exam paper, you probably will get asked to find the pH of a strong acid. Now, there's a very simple kind of step-by-step -step kind of guide on how to do that. So what are we going to be using? Well, we're going to be using the standard pH calculation expression. That is pH equals minus log base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration. So of course, in any of these questions, what we're looking to find is the hydrogen ion concentration. That's what we're aiming for. If we can't find that, we can't find the pH. But there are a simple kind of number of steps that we can follow based on the question that we can actually use to find this hydrogen ion concentration. First step, find the concentration of the acid. Now, it may be that it's a reaction that you're looking at and you need to use a bit of stoichiometry. Maybe you've been given a mass and a volume and you have to find the concentration of the acid in moles per decimeter cubed. However you need to do it, you need to find that first. Once you've found that, you need to decide, is it a monobasic or a dibasic acid? Okay, so use a bit of stoichiometry then to find the hydrogen ion concentration because it fully dissociates it's literally just a case of, right, if I have one mole of acid, I got one mole of hydrogen ions. Or is it a one to two relationship, depending on if it's a mono or di basic acid. And lastly, of course, we just then need to use the minus log base 10 of that hydrogen ion concentration. And that, of course, will give us the pH. So a couple of example questions here for you. So nice and straightforward. Calculate the pH of a 0 0.05 mole per decimeter cube solution of hydrochloric acid. Well, first thing, as we say, find the concentration of the acid. So the concentration of the acid here is basically just given in the question. So that is 0 0.05 moles per decimeter cubed. Now, is this a mono, di, or tri basic acid? We need to use stoichiometry, okay? So to do this, we just need to look at the dissociation. Well, of course, HCl dissociates to one H plus and a Cl minus. So it is a one to one ratio. And because it's a one to one ratio, we can say that the hydrogen ion concentration is, of course, also 0 0.05 moles per decimeter cubed. So what we need to say now is that pH equals minus log base 10 of our hydrogen ion concentration, which is 0 0.05. Okay, so I'm just going to plug that into the old uh, calculator here. So minus log of 0 0.05, close the brackets on the calculator, and that gives us a pH of 1.3. Okay, now a lot of the time they will tell you how many decimal places to put it. It's usually one decimal place. Okay, so that is our pH of our strong acid. Now, sometimes the questions might be a bit more involved than that. You need to do a little bit of extra legwork, but of course, they'll give you more marks for it. So let's have a look at a second example. So let's say 25 centimeter cubed of a 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide solution required 32 centimeter cubed of sulfuric acid to neutralize it. Calculate the pH of the acid. Well, first thing we need to do here is, of course, find the concentration of the acid. Now, imagine this is, um, let's say it's a titration, okay? That's all it is. In order to find the concentration of acid, we need to find the number of moles of acid in that 32 uh, centimeter cubed, okay? So to do that, we need to look at the reaction between sodium hydroxide and the H2SO4. But let's find the number of moles of sodium hydroxide first, because you know what? If in doubt, just find the number of moles of something, anything. Okay, so let's do that first. So number of moles of sodium hydroxide equals concentration times volume, which is of course 0.1, which is our concentration, multiplied by 25 over a thousand. Okay, simple mole calc there, okay, using decimeters for our units of volume. So 0 0.1 multiplied by 25 divided by a thousand, and that gives us so 2.5 times 10 to the minus three, and that is our number of moles of sodium hydroxide. Now, when we think about this, okay, we've got that many moles of sodium hydroxide. Well, if we look at our neutralization, basically we've got H plus plus OH minus, and that gives us 
H2O. Okay, that is a one-to-one -one stoichiometric relationship. If we've got 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of NaOH, we're going to have 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of sodium of uh, hydroxide ions. Okay, what that means is they're going to require a one-to-one -one relationship, so they're going to require the same number of moles of hydrogen ions. Okay, so we've actually found we can find the number of moles of hydrogen ions directly in this relationship. So therefore, number of moles of hydrogen ions equals 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Okay, so it's exactly the same. So we've almost skipped a step here. In other, rather than find the concentration of acid, which we can do, okay, we can take this number of moles and divide it by 2, but then we'd have to times it by 2 later on to find the hydrogen ion concentration. So we're skipping a step here. So we know the number of moles of hydrogen ions. Now we need to find the concentration. How do we do that? Well, it's got nothing to do with this. This is the NaOH here. It's this here. This is the volume of the acid. But we're going to have this number of moles of hydrogen ions in this volume. So hydrogen ion concentration equals number of moles divided by volume. So that's 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 32 over 1,000. Plugging that into our calculator, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 32 over 1,000. And that gives us 0 0.078 moles per decimeter cubed. So of course, oops, I should have kept that in there. That's our hydrogen ion concentration. Of course, the last thing is pH equals minus log base 10 of 0 0.078. So that basically is minus log 0 0.078, close brackets, equals one point well one and that is our ph so even when you're given a question and you haven't got much information about the acid just make sure uh, that you are able to find that number of moles or indeed concentration of hydrogen ions one way or another they if they're feeling fruity and they're feeling a bit mean in the exam they'll do something like this okay but it's just a simple mole calc like you've been doing uh, for ages so just make sure that you're able to do that and just be careful of your stoichiometry, okay? So finding the pH of strong acids, it's all about the protons. Find your concentration of hydrogen ions and you can't go wrong, okay? So that's finding pH of strong acids.